slap this together to try to help somebody out in a forum in order to get a camera to follow a path uh, is what we use as a Bezier curve, a plane, and a camera. Uh, as of right now, the only thing in the scene is this little blue hallway that you see and an HDIR image in the background. Here I'll be toggling the hallway's x-ray setting in order to get it to a little bit of a see-through. So when we add the Bezier curve, you can actually see what we're doing when we plot that path out. Add the curve, move the curve to the end of the hallway. What you see here to the right-hand side was the end of the hallway there. Now we'll move the curve right to the end of the hallway. And then from that point, we'll start extruding it uh, around the hallway to the beginning of it. Just see right here, and extrude it. I'm using the shift Z when I extrude it, uh, just so the Z axis doesn't get moved around. All right, now we're going to add the plane, which will follow the path. Just going to move it off the origin point right now to make it a little bit easier to work with, to select it. Add a camera and do the same thing. In order to make the alignment of the plane to the curve and then the camera to the plane, I want to have all the origin points of all three in the same position. To do that, I'll set the origin point of the Bezier curve right to the beginning of the Bezier curve. And then after that, I'll copy those coordinates into the plane and then into the camera. Selecting the Bezier curve, copying the X coordinates right now to the clipboard, selecting the plane, pasting those coordinates, and I'll do the following with the Y and also the same with the camera. If you notice right now, uh, previously I've already parented the camera to the plane, which was a mistake. Uh, you'll see in a little bit that I'll undo that and then reparent it. Uh, parenting it previously ended up causing an issue of trying to set the coordinates. Next, you'll notice I'll unparent the camera, and when once that's done, it'll snap itself to the correct location. And then now I'll reparent it since it's in the correct location. And when parenting, in order to get the camera angle to move with the curve rather than just stay straight, you have to use the vertex triangle.
here I'll just rotate the camera around to get the correct angle, at least the starting angle of it. Just aligning the camera a little bit more here. And now we have to take the plane and add a curve modifier to it so we can follow the curve. Next, we'll start adding keyframes to the movement of it, of the plane, that is. Uh, the start position, we just added one right there at the start point of one. Oops, should have been at the end frame here. Let's do that over again. And now we'll add the final keyframe. This animation only has two keyframes, a start and an end point. And now we'll just add a little bit more to the path, dropping down to Z so it kind of, when the camera goes through the hallway, it'll follow the curves of the hallway, but it'll also go up and down some. Notice right there, I ended up grabbing the end of one of the legs on that, uh, Bezier curve, that ended up twisting the path, as you'll see coming up soon. Going to make an attempt at trying to fix that rotation of the camera at that last curve. Uh, it was, the plane was following the Bezier curve, and the Bezier curve has a twist into it. So we're trying to, going to try to get that out of there. Right now I'm going to grab that leg and pull down on the Z-axis which should fix it, but for whatever reason, next I'm gonna end up rotating it around the Z, or excuse me, around the X axis, which I should not have done, but that's not quite the point of this uh, little walkthrough here. Leaving the Z pulled down would have done the trick. Not rotating it as I'm doing right now. And now I'm just going to set the origin point back to the middle of the scene, how uh, it originally started as. Hope someone can find a little bit of a use out of this, and take care of yourselves.